Do you ever think that at some point you might branch out into a different subject or a theme in your writing? No. What else what else is there? I'm just looking at the titles of your songs. Trust Haters is obviously the title track in the band's name, but there's We Hate the Trusts, 
Trust Be Gone, which has some affiliation with the product that you spray on Trust, disintegrating it on contact. That sounds kind of dangerous. Uh, there's Trust Crusher, Trust Annihilator, Give Me Trust, I'll Give You Death. Yeah, that's my favorite. Well, you've obviously made some connection with your fans, and you've got a lot of them. I did find it interesting when I read somewhere that you named your two new puppies Trusty and Trusty Jr. It just seems odd that you would name them such a near spelling to your inanimate nemesis that you seem so focused on within your songs. There's a Y at the end of it. Spelled with a Y. Hi, I just wanted to follow up on your upcoming show on the 19th. Yes, I see on the equipment list and it says an extremely large print, no truss. Well, the truss is actually built into the performance area. All the rigging uses it. We could try to cover it so it's hidden. So you're saying that they can smell the truss that's 40 feet over their heads. Oh, we hate the truss. musical instruments you could have picked why the cowbell well you know the cowbell is just such a majestic instrument you know it's you can make it sound like this or you can make it sound like that um you know it's just it's just so versatile do you remember when you started playing yes yes i started about two years ago because i found out that lennon actually spent years years and years of his life just trying to perfect his cowbell sound and you know he could never he could never get it quite right so you know i think i think i kind of picked up where he left off and him carrying on his legend you know i can't say that i'm a cowbell expert but the people who know a lot about it say that you're one of the best ever to grace the instrument well you know i don't mean to brag or anything but i i do think i look picked up where Lennon left off. Here you are on the cover of Cowbell Player magazine, Dustin M. Best Ever. Percussive Instruments Weekly has you as the number one cowbell artist of all time. Here's a copy of Rock the Cow. Nobody plays louder than Dustin. That's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, you know, I'm just... I think I'm pretty humble about it, but, you know, I just get out there every day and try to play the best cowbell I can play. I really like how the cowbell is always the loudest instrument in your songs. It really cuts through in a bold, piercing, almost annoying way. Oh yeah, you know, um, the cowbell, contrary to popular belief, has a lot of really beautiful uh, resonant frequencies. And I've seen some engineers, they try to cut my resonant frequencies on my cowbells. And I say, hey man, you're taking all my tone. You got to boost those, boost those resonant frequencies up. And it just really makes the cowbell shine. Sorry, Carrie, I don't mean to spend so much time talking about the heights of cowbell artistry that Dustin's achieved, but it, it just must be such an honor to share the stage with such a virtuoso of the instrument. So, Carrie, you are the lyricist and really the heart and soul of the group. Being called trust haters pretty much spells it out. But your almost violent disdain for trust seems to be the main, if not the only theme in every one of your songs. You seem very passionate about it. Because I am. We're, well, we're both very passionate about it, actually. I'm more passionate than you. But the, the, but the band as a whole. I think I'm more passionate, but I mean... I think I started... Just, I think I, next question. I think I started hating trust first. I just want to say that. <laughs> Hi, Carrie Wagner here. Did you know that 10,000 cute little furry animals are injured or killed by truss every year? That's one ten thousandth of an animal every minute. 
Help me stop the madness by going to Stop the Trust. That's stt.org. It's moderately tax deductible, and you'll be helping save the cutest little animals on Earth from destruction. Won't you help? Shamu the killer whale was trapped by trust for years until Willie taught him to jump. Now they're free to eat baby seals. Help us make things right again. Thank you. Got trust? Trust be gone! Use as directed. May cause eye irritation and nausea. Spray directly on surface and run. After use, evacuate area for 7 to 10 years. Some users have experienced rabies-like symptoms. If blindness develops, consult physician immediately. Has been known to cause flu-like symptoms in field mice. Do not use near cats. Do not use near dogs. Do not use in an enclosed space. Do not use outdoors with winds exceeding 1 mile per hour. If winds exceed 1 mile per hour during use, evacuate planet immediately. May cause death. May kill you. It's really hard to find places that can accommodate for our technical needs and still hold all our fans. So. We've had to adjust. We've been playing some Holiday Inns. They never have trust. Never. We just played 17 consecutive nights. Including happy hours just to connect with our audience. Since, you know, I like being really, 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 really close to our fans during our concerts. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I know you've been asked this before, but where did this borderline psychotic hatred for such a common and almost necessary tool for concert rigging and staging come from? It was that day on October 21st. It was April 16th. 
1996. 2012. <laughs> okay, I need a different... <laughs> I need a different... <laughs> I know you've been asked this before, but where did this borderline psychotic hatred for such a common and almost necessary tool for concert rigging and staging come from? I don't, can you repeat the question? <laughs> well... <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> I'll ask if you can repeat the question. That'd, that'd be great. I know you've been asked this before, but where did this borderline psychotic hatred for such a common and almost necessary tool for concert rigging and staging come from? I don't understand. Can you repeat the question? Was there an incident or something that triggered it? Well, there was the day. October 31st. May 16th. 2005. 2012, actually. You guys have only been together for three months. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just improv that one. Okay. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should just cut me laughing and use what you did. That's awesome. <laughs> We've only been together for three months. No, red. No. Red? No. Okay, yellow. Dude. Fine, red then. No. Carry yellow. I said yellow. No. I like green. Ah! Trust, Trust Be Gone, which has some affiliation with the product that you spray on Trust, disintegrating it on contact. That sounds kind of dangerous. Uh, there's Trust Crusher, Trust Annihilator, Give Me Trust, I'll Give You Death. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Give me that one's so good. <laughs> <It's right. laughs> well, I must say that you have the best merchandise on tour. I love the T-shirts and the Trust Crusher hats. I also really like how your fans are so into destroying trust-like objects during your shows. It's a lot of fun. Maybe a little dangerous, but so far so good. That must be a big moneymaker selling merchandise that your fans are going to destroy during the show. Ah, oh, so much money. <laughs> Insane amounts. We, we don't know what to do with it anymore, you know. Um, I, I had a money room. Yeah, I had a money room. You had a money room too, right? My banks won't take money anymore. Yeah. Yeah, banks have literally called me and asked me to stop I giving them money. Me more than him, but yeah. Yeah, both of our money rooms are full. We we just burn it sometimes just for something to do. Well, anyways, good luck with the rest of your tour, and thanks again for sitting down with me. Could I get one of those Trust Crusher hats? No, you have to pay for it. This, what do you think, this is a charity? We don't just give our things away. How do you think we make our money that we burn?
That's, That's good. That was plenty of despair. Like, <laughs> the text's already ruined, <laughs> Gary. I can't. I don't know. You did it. You really did it. You really blew it up. <laughs> Damn you all to hell! <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what was that? <laughs>